Sacrament most holy, O Sacrament divine. All praise and all thanksgiving be every moment thine. Blessed be the holy and immaculate conception of the most blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God. The Angelus. The angel of the Lord declared unto Mary, and she conceived by the Holy Spirit. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Behold the handmaid of the Lord. Be it done unto me according to your word. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women. And blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. And the Word was made flesh. And dwelt among us. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Pray for us, O Holy Mother of God, that we may be made worthy of the promises of Christ. Let us pray. Pour forth, we beseech you, O Lord, your grace into our hearts, that we to whom the incarnation of Christ, your Son, was made known by the message of an angel, 
made by his passion and cross, be brought to the glory of his resurrection through the same Christ our Lord. Amen. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Prayer to Our Lady of the Blessed Sacrament. Blessed are you, Mary, exalted daughter of Zion. You are highly favored and full of grace. For the Spirit of God descended upon you. We magnify the Lord and rejoice with you for the gift of the Word made flesh, our bread of life and cup of joy, our Lady of the Blessed Sacrament, our model of prayer in the Cenacle. Pray for us that we may become what we receive, the body of Christ, your Son. Amen. Our Lady of the Blessed Sacrament, Pray for us. Prayer in honor of Saint Joseph. O Lord, may the merits of the spouse of your most holy mother assist us, so that what we cannot obtain through our own efforts, we may have through his intercession. You who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Saint Joseph. Pray for us. Prayer in honor of St. Peter Julian Amor. Gracious God of our ancestors, you led Peter Julian Amor, like Jacob in a times past, on a journey of faith, under the guidance of your gentle spirit. Peter Julian discovered the gift of love, the Eucharist which your Son, Jesus, offered for the hungers of humanity. Grant that we may celebrate this mystery worthily, adore it profoundly, and proclaim it prophetically for your greater glory. Amen. St. Peter Julian Amard, Apostle of the Eucharist, pray for us. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. God, come to my assistance. Lord, make haste to help me. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit as it was in the beginning is now and will be forever. Amen. Amen. Bye. 
that light an ending shines through our night you are with us ever lending new strength to shine what in love your truth confessing one in hope of heaven's blessing may we see in love's possessing love's endless life eyes will close but you and sleeping watch by our side Death may come in love, safe keeping, still we abide. God of love, of evil dwelling, sin forgiving, fear dispelling, stay with us, our hearts in Let us pray. O God, source and origin of all fatherhood, who kept the martyr St. Andrew Dangla and his companions faithful to the cross of your Son, even to the shedding of their blood, grant through their intercession that spreading your love among our brothers and sisters, we may be your children both in name and in truth. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. Sing Alleluia, sing Alleluia, sing Alleluia to the from the Holy Gospel according to St. Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to the crowd, They will seize and persecute you. They will hand you over to the synagogues and to prisons. And they will have you led before kings and governors because of my name. It will lead to your giving testimony. Remember, you are not to prepare your defense beforehand, for I myself shall give you a wisdom in speaking that all your adversaries will be powerless to resist or refute. You will even be handed over by parents, brothers, relatives, and friends, and they will put some of you to death. You will be hated by all, because of my name but not a hair on your head will be destroyed by your perseverance you will secure your lives the gospel of the lord praise to you o lord jesus christ
from today's gospel, Jesus was very honest to the disciples by telling them that they should expect when they choose to follow him, persecution. Jesus believed in the people strong enough to offer themselves not in an easy way, but the way of heroes. However, he also promised them that he would not leave them alone in meeting these troubles and tri transgressions. And that is true because if we can look at the matters maybe that we have read about, the sufferings that they had to go through, the crosses that they had to take up, indeed we see Jesus being present with them to the extent that they would not surrender or despair. And today, this is our calling also, to stand for the truth at all costs. That is what it means to follow Christ. From the time of the apostles, the Christians have been persecuted. One might ask, when is the church going to cease being persecuted? And as Bishop Baron says, the answer is only when Christ comes again in his second coming. Brothers and sisters, one thing that we need to realize is that to speak of truth to power, to proclaim the gospel of Jesus, to proclaim the name of Jesus is inevitably going to irritate the powers of the evil. The name of Jesus is always to disturb the evil one and in ways in which the evil is operating. To proclaim love, truth, and goodness, and all the other good things is saying no to the acts of immorality, killings, corruption, injustice, and all the other forms of evil. To challenge these evils, however, is not to hate our enemies. It is to commit ourselves to love them, even if we do not accept the policies that they go with. Jesus calls us to love our neighbors, to love our enemies, not to hate them. Our duty is to enter into dialogue in a non-violent manner with them and win their hearts. We need to start with those around us. We do not have to think of those countries where the Christians are being persecuted. We, not, we don't need to think of those figures that are persecuting Christians, but we need to start with our neighbors. How do we relate with them if they have hurt us? Do we still love them? If we do not still love them, then we have not taken the message of Jesus Christ and the promises he has given us in a serious manner. Jesus tells us, not the hair of us will be lost. This should be my hope, and this should be your hope. My brothers and sisters, it's so easy to give in to hatred. It's so difficult to love our enemies, to stand up for those values, stand in the face of the people who are screaming and saying, why do you challenge my agenda? It's more difficult not to be intimidated and not to give in to hatred, not to respond with an eye for an eye, a tooth for a tooth, hatred for hatred. I think that's the taste of the gospel message today. Can we still embrace the truth even in the face of those who oppose what we believe in as the truth, what we take as sacred? Do we still have the boldness to proclaim the truth amid this persecution? Today, let us pray for the grace to accept and live by the gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ, which is the gospel of love and truth. May we always take the promises of Jesus seriously, just like the saints have done, 
so that together we can be able to win the crown of glory, which is our only hope and treasure that surpasses the sufferings that we may have to endure in this world. Amen. of 
free.